Wow. Really? Another creatine video? This time about weight loss. Seriously, I mean, how many more questions can you guys possibly have about it? But anyway, let's talk about it. How's it going guys? My name's Richie Kerwin and today we're gonna to talk all about whether or not you should be taking creatine while trying to lose body weight. As always, I want to point out that I'm not telling you that you need to take creatine or not, or any supplements for that matter. But I do want to explain what effect it might have. And you can use that information to help you make more informed choices. Let's get started. Firstly, let's be really clear about the situation we're talking about here. If someone wants to lose weight, more than likely they're talking about losing body fat in order to get a specific physical appearance. That word appearance is vital here. In reality, the weight on the scale doesn't matter one bit as long as someone looks the way they want to look, right? Within reason. If you're still not sure, let me ask you this. If you had your ideal body, but weighed 10 kilos heavier, would you mind? No, exactly. Now that we've established that weight doesn't matter, let's move on. Now let's talk about creatine. What does it even do? Well, I've done multiple videos talking about creatine. So for a more detailed explanation of why to take it, how it works and how to use it, check those out. To summarize them briefly, creatine is awesome. It can help your muscles produce power, increasing your strength in the gym and improving the quality of your workouts. And better workouts lead to more muscle built in the long run. It's incredibly well-researched, safe, and can be used long-term. I hate the fact that I have to say this virtually every time I speak about it, but it's also not a steroid and you don't need to cycle off. So, can it improve fat loss? Absolutely not. There is no evidence to say creatine can speed up or alter rates of fat loss in any way. Anybody who tells you otherwise is just wrong. So, should you stop taking it if you're trying to lose body fat? Absolutely not. If you're confused, listen on. Just because creatine doesn't specifically help with fat loss doesn't mean you shouldn't take it while dieting. Remember we said earlier that the number on the scale doesn't really matter and people usually just want to look better. Well, creatine can certainly help with that. You see, creatine, if you take it for a month or more, continuously builds up in your muscles until they can't absorb anymore. Creatine molecules in your muscles also tend to attract water. This means that someone's muscles can get fuller when taking creatine. It's not a lot, but it can be noticeable. This means that when you lose body fat, your muscles will look better because they're fuller. Now, not everyone notices the increase in muscle fullness, but it's not uncommon either. The increase in muscle fullness is often associated with a small increase in body weight when someone starts taking creatine. This can scare people at first, but just remember this, it's not fat. It's the extra water a lot of which is being stored in the muscles, helping them to look fuller. That's a good thing. On top of having fuller looking muscles, taking creatine while dieting also helps you maintain more power and explosivity in the gym, which means you can train harder and recover better. Many people who diet for long enough often notice a drop in training quality as they lose weight. That's almost inevitable if you diet for a long enough time but taking creatine can help reduce the degree to which you lose strength. That means you're able to train a little bit better while dieting, which is good for all those muscles you're trying to show off. Only time it might be worth considering stopping taking creatine while losing weight is if your actual goal is losing weight. By that, I mean for athletes that need to diet down to a weight class, like for boxing or MMA, stopping creatine might help them hit their goal weight. But it would take up to three or four weeks for all that creatine weight to go. They should also need to take into consideration a possible drop in performance from stopping creatine. Those are my thoughts on creatine while dieting. I'm not saying you have to take it, but if you are already taking it, you definitely don't need to stop. Keep taking it to keep those muscles looking full. So did this answer your creatine and weight loss questions? As always, if you have any more, let me know in the comments below and remember to like and subscribe to the MyProtein YouTube channel for more great evidence-based nutrition information.